Okay, hi YouTube. Um, today I'm just gonna kind of talk about how to install a custom ROM. Um, this kind of imply applies to all Android phones, but I'm doing it specific for this um, Orange San Francisco or ZT Blade. So basically, the first thing you need to do is root your phone. Now, there's lots of actual programs you can, different programs you can use to do this. The one I used was Super One Click Root, but it depends on your phone model. It'll routing the it's specific for the phone model, so some routers won't work for some and will work for others. So you're just gonna have to Google it depending on your f device. So at the minute, I've got a ROM called Ginger Stir Fry Beta 19 online, and yeah, it's still in its beta stages, but it's looking pretty hopeful. This the scrolling on it is pretty smooth. So if you look and which is actually I found a problem with Cyanogen mod the scrolling isn't actually brilliant but for a 99 pound phone it's pretty good okay and once your phone is rooted you will get this if it rooted successfully this app will appear it's just called super user and you can use super user to basically act as an administrator on your phone so you can do things which basically you can take full control of all the kind of functions on your phone so for example you can download this it's called ad free and it will block the ads on free apps and you can use this 3d chain fire it's like it's a driver which you can make you can use it to reduce graphics on games and things which aren't running properly so yeah and you can also delete pre-installed apps it's useful stuff. Anyway, um, you'll also need to download this. This is called ROM Manager. You can get it free off the market. Now, uh, you can use this to basically install the ROM. You'll have to be rooted first. Once you're rooted, you click here. Flash Clockwork Mod Recovery. This will basically uh, create a, a menu basically almost like a BIOS file which means that when you shut down your phone you can hold the down button and then turn it on and it will bring you onto a different menu which I'll show you later from which you can install the custom ROM you can install it from there so anyway you can either download ROMs from the internet which I'll show you in the description or you can click here to download ROMs and you can just choose as quite a variety uh, I wouldn't actually, it, it gives you an option to reboot into recovery, Don't. it's better not to do it from here, just do it manually. But anyway, when you've uh, downloaded a, a, a custom ROM, you keep it in a zip file, put it in the root of the memory stick so it's easy to find, and I'll show you in a second. So once you've got that on your uh, memory stick as a zip file, then you download this, it's a free version, you just click titanium backup that asking for root rights and then uh, this is basically just to help you backup and restore your apps so you don't lose everything when you install the custom ROM so what you do is you click on backup slash restore menu batch and then what you want to do is you want to run backup all user apps okay so it's saying that that would mean there's 24 backups and you just run that and once that's done you've basically yeah you've got a backup of your files now what you also gonna need to do is get um, for shared which is here I think you can get that off the market as well and once you downloaded that you can actually search titanium backup and when you download it it'll download into whatever folder you choose so the best way to get titanium backup is to download it via foreshared and you'll find it in your downloads folder so here so my titanium backup is there because I've downloaded it off foreshared it'll stay in my downloads folder because a custom ROM will wipe the phone's internal memory but not your SD card so everything on the SD card will stay so now I'm going to shut down my phone So I'll quickly run through. So root, 
you'll need to root your phone, you'll need to install uh, ROM manager, then you need to uh, download titanium backup, you'll need to flash the clockwork mod recovery, then you'll need to download your ROM, but don't, don't reboot into recovery mode from the ROM manager, we'll do that manually, so you just download your ROM and leave it there. Okay, and then you back up your apps. So we're going to hold the down button and we're going to turn it on, but not let go of the down button. You see, I'm still holding it. And the green Android should pop up. And after a few seconds, here we go. This is the Clockwork Mod Recovery screen. You see that? And uh, we use the up and down arrows to navigate. So, like that. The home button is OK or go to the next screen, so that's kind of select, and then the back button goes back. So the first thing you need to do is you need to click on wipe data and factory reset. So and then you go right down to here, and you click on the home button. So that that will wipe all your data. Um, then you need to wipe your cache. Click on the home button. This might look really confusing, but the reason they've done this kind of layout with loads of no's and one yes is so you don't accidentally delete your cache without meaning to, but you need to. So you go down just the same and you click on home to delete your cache and it'll say here you've deleted it. Then the last thing you need to do before you install your ROM is go on to advanced, so you click the home menu, and then you need to click on wipe Dalvik cache, which is the second one and you just click on the home menu and now you're ready to do it so back button and here you go install zip from SD card which is why I said leave it as a zip file do not extract it home menu and now you can choose the zip from the SD card and if you've downloaded yours from clockwork mod recovery it'll be in this folder if you've put um, downloaded it from your computer and transferred it into the root, then you'll find the folder here somewhere. So now I'll show you Clockwork Mod. Um, download. So here's one I downloaded earlier. It's um, the update Cyanogen Mod 7.1.0 RC1 which is the latest at the minute, latest stable anyway. And then uh, that'll take a bit of time to install. Once that's done, go right back to the root of the men uh, menus and the top option will be to re reboot your system now. So you just click on the home menu, reboot it. And so it'll on the first boot it'll take quite a long time to load and the green android will stay on for more time than it will on mine It'll because it's just initializing all the different boots and stuff like that so don't worry, don't be alarmed if it takes you know up to five minutes if it's stuck on this green android what you're going to have to do is take the battery out uh, you see you take the back cover off, take the battery out and when you put it back in what you do is hold down the back arrow uh, the down but down volume and then turn it on and keep holding that down so you go back onto your clockwork mod um, recovery menu and so a good thing to have done it's not necessary but I recommend that you actually back up your previous ROM so I'll show you how to do that actually from the actual Cyanogen mod now from the actual clockwork mod recovery menu you can back up everything which includes the apps and the ROM which you've currently got on. That will take a while and quite a bit of memory so if you've got the space then do it otherwise you're going to have to do without. But once you have got a backup you're pretty safe. I mean it's very unlikely that you're going to cause any problems with your phone. And if you follow the instructions there shouldn't be a problem. But yep, here you can go on to backup and restore, and then you, all you need to do is click on backup, which is there, and that'll just yeah, it'll take a bit of time to run, and that'll um, and yeah, if anything does go wrong, it gets stuck on the green Android. You just go on to backup and restore, 
and you click restore and just choose the choose the yeah where to restore from and that's it really you'll load up the ROM once you reboot um, your new ROM you may find it's a little bit sluggish on the first run but don't worry too much about that it'll it'll sort itself out you can reboot again and try getting different launchers normally the stock launchers aren't brilliant there's a couple of things then you fiddle around you can overclock most of them they're overclockable especially this all the cyanogen ones you can and uh, yeah you should notice a difference in performance you can download things like quadrant standard and neocore to test how much it's improved you could do kind of a before or after to see what the difference is and it was actually worth it and yeah you can enjoy your apps free apps without the ads because of ad free and you can get that on the market as well thanks for watching